Keep pushing! How's it? Thirty nine twenty four. What? Thirty nine twenty four. Nice. Oh. Good job! You're doing great! <laughs> How's it going everyone? This is just going to be a quick video, or kind of a brief overview of the gear that I use when I participate in a triathlon. I had a couple of requests for this video, um, so I wanted to just go over and show you guys the gear that I use. And it also ties in this past weekend my girlfriend, her father and I completed a team triathlon, so I'll have some footage of that um, that I can show you guys after this little overview. I also want to give a quick shout out to Extraneous Solutions. Uh, cool guy here on YouTube, he has a couple videos on um, some dives that he recently did and then also a cycling EDC, but he was one of the people who requested this uh, kind of overview, so definitely go check him out if you haven't already. Um, now, triathlon, swim, bike, run. So you're going to swim first, you're going to ride second, and then you're going to run last. Um, so you're going to want some, some piece of clothing that's going to you know, carry you through all, all three individual events. And I'm a big King Cappy fan. I have King Cappy riding uh, outfit just for regular riding. And so I went with the same uh, brand uh, for my triathlon gear. And you can see here, this is the King Cappy Tri Top. Just a very simple, full zip, um, sleeveless, top here has two small pockets on the back for any type of um, goo or blocks or anything you want to shove in there. Um, and then it has a matching bottom, which is just a simple riding short here. All right. And uh, it has a very minimal amount of padding in here uh, as compared to my full-on riding outfit. But it does the job and it, it's a very easy transition from swim to bike and then to run. So I um, really like it. Lightweight, breathable. Um, does well in the pool and, and everything else. So that's what's actually on my body, um, covering up all the other other pieces. Um, and then after, oh, when I'm in the pool, excuse me, I'll also have some earplugs in, so the water doesn't get in, a pair of Speedo goggles, and then a simple swim cap. So that's all that's on me in the pool. Once I jump out of the pool, that, um, the goggles and, and swim cap come off. A pair of City, I believe these, are Genesis 4 um, cycling shoes. I love City, that's pretty much the only brand of cycling shoes that I'll actually purchase. Nice ratchet adjustment strap on top here. Um, and then throw on a BMC cycling hat. Um, you wouldn't really need to do that, I just like riding with a hat. And then a nice bell helmet. I had this guy for a while, it's done really well. Um, enjoy it. Nice airflow, you know, lightweight and simple. Um, and then the bike, of course, that's probably a very important part. This is my Felt AR4. I've had this for a little over a year. Really enjoy it. It's a great bike. I use it for everything from simple, quick 15-minute ride up to centuries and, and in triathlons. Um, this is Felt's kind of combination or crossover frame. Um, it can do centuries really well, which is the majority of the ride that I do. Or it can be a triathlon bike. Um, it's, it's basically, the, the frame is designed very aerodynamically, it's, it's kind of meant to be a triathlon bike with the way that the frame is designed. Carbon fiber frame, so it keeps the weight down, but it's also very stiff and responsive. Um, so if you want to throw a pair of air bars on there, um, you wouldn't really be able to tell that it's not a tri bike. Uh, on here we have a Shimano Ultegra Grupo. This is my first bike with Shimano on it. Eh, it, it works, it's, you know, it's Shimano, it works, that's the thing. Um, about my campy guy at heart, so next bike I purchase will probably be back to campy again. Um, but overall, I've been very impressed with it. Great bike. Um, you know, it does everything very well. Have a Topeak uh, waterproof dry bag on here. It has spare tube, tires, cell phone, um, two computers. One computer stays on the bike that does have a cadence and speed sensor, 
um, and then a Garmin Edge 500 up there that I rotate between a couple bikes um, and activities that kind of gives you just an overall uh, experience, speed, distance, cadence, um, and it'll actually track your routes so you can view it online at a later date. Uh, once you hop off the bike, um, the first pair of actual dedicated running shoes that I purchased um, for a, the triathlon here was a pair of Nikes. Now, I won't ever purchase a pair of Nike running shoes again. Um, they're great to look at, but not the best to run in. Uh, my girlfriend's already moved on to her better pair of running shoes, and I need to do the same, but for now, uh, they work fine. And then also throw on a running belt uh, to hold your number, so you don't cross that finish line and have done that for nothing since they didn't see your number. But